I'm finally getting back into streaming, which means I need to stop being lazy and set up an awesome streaming layout and really work on my production value. For that, I've partnered with Nerd or Die, who wanted to sponsor a video showing how to use their high quality stream assets, alerts, transitions, and so on to create an epic, engaging live stream. This is the shorter run through version for those who really know what they're doing already. I also have a complete hour long wa full walkthrough from start to finish of how I built my layout in OBS, configured the different assets available from Nerd or Die, and even set up alerts and widgets and all of that. Link to that video will be in the video description, but let's get started. First, head to Nerd or Die's website with my link below. Check out the amazing streaming assets they have available. Everything from full streaming packages, to sound effects, stinger transitions, chat boxes, and even some free panel graphics you can use, and so on. Choose and purchase the packs you want. Each page has a thorough breakdown of what's included and how to use it, and you can even pick and choose which aspects of certain packages that you want to buy, so you don't have to buy everything if you won't use it. Download your purchase assets. Unzip them with your favorite archive manager, I use 7-Zip. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, many of the packages come with dot overlay files, which you can import by going to Settings, Scene Collections, and Import, and get set up with only a few clicks. It's really easy. Some packages are also optimized for Streamlabs or Stream Elements for the widgets, providing quick shortcuts to set up your alerts and other web widgets with minimal work required. Use those. On Streamlabs, you need to make sure you're adding all of these to a single consistent widget theme that will be used. Add each widget as a browser source to OBS, copying the URL from Streamlabs or Stream Elements into the box and sizing as desired. The README for your pack may have some size recommendations, so check that. You may need to click Launch next to the Streamlabs alert box before it will show up in OBS the first time. Little annoyance there. In OBS Studio, add your assets as desired. Status screens usually come in the form of images or WebM video files, like with this RetroWave pack that I picked up and used. This pack also provides icon files to set up social media logos and top tippers or most recent sub labels. Overlays are also images or video files. When adding video files for overlays or backgrounds, make sure you check the loop box in every source's properties box so that they stay running, otherwise they're just going to vanish on you. For overlays shouting out your most recent subscribers or tippers or so on, download a program like Streamlabs' Stream Labels app to keep an updated text source running on screen. Make sure you download and install the recommended fonts from your Nerd or Die package so you can keep the theming consistent. For webcam frames, add the asset as a layer above your webcam video source. Crop or scale your webcam as needed to fit within the frame. Group sources to make moving multiple sources around at once easier. You can also add groups to other scenes for convenience. When you're done adjusting source layers, be sure to lock them so you don't accidentally mess up their positioning when you're trying to click on something else. Stinger transitions can be added under the Scene Transitions menu. Click Add, add the file for it, and set your transition time. This is the point at which the clip cuts between scenes, typically when the entire screen is blocked by the transition clip. Usually this is about 60 frames, but you may need to import your Stinger file into a video editor or some other way to count the frames for yourself, or just use trial and error until you get there. And whammo! Just like that, you went from a boring, slap together stream layout to something that really looks like you care and want people to have a good time. Cool widgets and alerts alone won't make your streams amazing, but they certainly help you stand out and build engagement with your audience and can help take you to that next level. Thanks to Nerd or Die for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching it. In the description, I will have a link to the full one hour guide if you want to dig into that, as well as a sponsor link to check out Nerd or Die for yourself and let them know that I sent you. I'm Epos Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and I'll see you in the next one.